So um, now you have to write your own problem and um, you know this video is just to kind of get you started, help you get started in case you're struggling a little bit. But basically uh, um, your problem is going to have to contain two events and those two events you know may you know they should be related they should be related to each other so for example um yesterday or in uh, uh the last video what we thought about was we thought about having um <coughs> mangy dogs so dogs that have mange some disease or condition and dogs that are missing fur and so the event that those two things are related that was one of our story problems the other one was um, the event that it rains on a certain day in July on any given day in July rather and also the event that the forecast called for rain and we figure those two are related so now you know, you're gonna think of you know any of a number of other things that might be related so for example um, <clears throat> All right. Uh, the event that um, a car is small, right? So I could have the event that a car is small be event A, right? Or B. And then the other is that the car is owned by a clown. Okay? So we could make a problem because we think that maybe clowns come from small cars. Um, <clears throat> maybe another, you know, like to drive around in a small car and they cram themselves in it. I don't know. Here's another one. The event that um, somebody maybe makes a lot of money, right? And the event that they have a high education. Okay, could be something like that. Um, maybe we have the event that someone has some goofy kind of tattoo somewhere and also the event that this guy has spent time in prison okay uh, you know there's certain prison tats that that people get to show that they've been in prison at least in the Russian mob there is and I'm sure in other places as well right so um, well, I should just say there allegedly is, okay? Because I'm not in it and I don't know. But anyway, you can see how anything you can kind of think of that might be related. And if you need some help from me, um, you know, check your idea, run it past me. But come up with a couple of ideas, okay? Now, remember, what you're going to need is you're going to need the probability of A outright, okay? We just want to know... What is the probability of A? <clears throat> so, in all, th I'll make all three of these cases um, the same, pretty much. Let's just say that A, the probability of A is equal to, I don't know, let's say uh, 1%. <clears throat> now, I would recommend that you make this probability small, okay? If you can make it a small probability, then you have a much better chance that um, you have a much better chance that that small probability is going to lead to some some funny conclusions or some conclusions that might be unpredictable. So now we want to talk about the um, we want to talk about your next thing is that you want to find the probability of B given A. And you want to find the pro or you want to give the probability of B given not A, right? The complement of A. And you're not going to just write it out like this, okay? You're going to just tell it as a story. So you might say the probability that a guy makes at least, I don't know, quarter million dollars a year is 1%. Now, we would come down here and say, the probability that a guy who makes a quarter million dollars a year has a high education, well, that might be 90%, right? Pretty high. And the probability that a guy who does not make, 
that does not make a quarter million dollars a year has a high education well let's say that that's lower okay so see how that problem would be read okay the oh by the way these don't these don't need to add up to a hundred in fact I'd rather we probably maybe shouldn't have them add up to a hundred or it might confuse a little bit so maybe I'll make this oh let's say 12 percent so the probability the guy does not make uh, a quarter million dollars a year <clears throat> does not have a high education or, or has a high education so sorry I just wanted to show you these do not need to add up to a hundred percent they 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 could be so here we go let's use these three numbers and let's think about how we'd write that story problem so we'd start this we'll do this one then this one then this one so we'd say the probability that a guy makes at least a quarter million dollars a year is one percent the probability that um, the guy who makes a quarter million dollars a year has a high education they call it maybe a graduate degree right a graduate degree which means a master's degree or a PhD doctorate or a law degree or something like this so we would say the probability that a guy who makes a quarter million dollars has a graduate degree is 90 percent and then the probability that a guy who does not make a quarter million dollars a year but has a and has a graduate degree is 12 percent okay so that's how we'd set that up and then we'd say we want to we want to test for the probability of a given b so now we now we can kind of add in a, a little more detail and make the question so here we go <clears throat> um, maybe this is the story of the queen trying to marry off the princess right to some rich guy so the queen says okay I want my daughter to marry somebody with a graduate degree and the reason is because I know that the probability of a person making a lot of money is only 1% the probability that somebody would make $250,000 is only 1% but I know that if they make a quarter million dollars, the probability that they um, have a graduate degree is 90%. And I know that if they don't make a quarter million dollars, then the probability they have a graduate degree is only 12%. So, um, you know, I'm thinking that if I find somebody with a graduate degree, that there should be a good chance that they make a quarter million dollars a year or more so given that they have a graduate degree they should make a quarter million dollars or more okay so that can be the probability or the, the setup and then the question would be what is the probability that a person who makes a quarter of a million dollars a year actually has a graduate degree I'm sorry that has a graduate sorry the final question, the punchline here would be, what is the probability that if you find somebody with a graduate degree that they actually do make $100,000 a year? Okay? And, um, you know, we'd have to do all the calculations to find out. Okay? So, I would encourage you to get something going like that. <clears throat> that one could work. And let's go to the next one. So, you could say... That the probability is somebody is driving a small car maybe a car with less than 50 square feet inside okay something like that so um, uh, maybe less than I don't know less than 200 cubic feet let's just say less than 200 cubic feet so we write that feet cubed okay so I think that's probably a pretty small car I'm just estimating there but here we go that's five by eight by um, what five feet high so it's not a lot of interior room maybe I don't know so their car has less than 200 cubic feet um, so we would say that the probability that a car at random that we just picked out right it has less than 200 cubic feet is only 1% so we know these 
these cars are rare okay because the probability of finding a car like this is less than one percent and then we would go and say um, <clears throat> but if we know that we have a car that's less than 200 feet cubic feet the probability that it's owned by a clown is 90 percent and when the car is greater than or equal to 200 feet cubic feet the probability that it's owned by a clown is only 12 percent so we might say to ourselves given that we take a typical car's clown uh, clown's car what is the probability that it's less than 200 cubic feet okay Let's follow this again and we're going more time through that one okay so we're gonna say you would word your question kind of like this okay um, and maybe there's a little bit of setup to it um, you on a dare you've been challenged to go and find a clown in in the parking lot of a huge arena okay and you're not sure which one it should be but your friend says maybe it's going to be a small car so you go over and you you know these things let's just say that the probability of a small car in that huge enormous parking lot outside of a giant stadium would be one percent okay that is, a, that is defined as a car with less than 200 cubic feet interior okay so then we would say, we know that when you have a small car, that 90% chance it's owned by a clown. And when you do not have a small car, it's only 12% chance that it's owned by a clown. So therefore, what is the probability that a car owned by a clown is less than 200 cubic feet and then that would tell us you know that could be kind of your your question there something like that okay and then the last one over here we have event a and we have event B so we would say the probability that an inmate no I'm sorry that wouldn't be good we are, they're already all inmates or I don't know they've already all been to prison here we are the probability of having a specific tattoo of some type is one percent now it, of the people who have the tattoo so if you take the people who have the tattoo the probability that they've been to prison is 90 percent and of the people who do not have the tattoo the probability that they've been to this prison is only 12 percent so now what would be the probability that if you went to prison you would get that tattoo that specific tattoo okay so that's kind of how you could set that question up so now you see these are how these problems are set up um, notice where we started again I'm gonna go backwards a little bit just just kind of remind you oh this paper's gonna I wanted just a blank paper so here we go the first thing we started doing was we started writing scenarios of A and B right so like we wrote you know we just started by finding two scenarios that maybe are related that we suspect might have been related like the tattoo in the prison the small cars and the clowns the money in the graduate degree these we think might be related then we realized then we then we labeled those events as a and b a and b a and b then we gave out some information probability of a we give that out okay the probability of B given A, we count, we give some number there. And I would make this number a big number, so it fits your story. And I would make this a smaller number. Maybe not so small as that one, but I would make it smaller, okay? And so now you have, okay, some numbers, and you have the scenario now we work on putting a story to it we talk through what each of one of these are and then we're what we're seeking that's our question so we're gonna you know put it together in a way that it sounds like a question where we're trying to get here okay that's kind of my overview on how to write this and I would encourage you to um, you know get going on it because this is one of your very last things you're gonna do in this class congratulations